Okay, guys, so to start, now you guys are going to be like, this is too much, girl, but I literally went ahead and counted all the flowers I have. Para que una no esté más is the fuller than the other one. Divided them, you know, to have an equal amount in each one. So I have here my three different sections. I hope you guys can see that. It's mi altar, the welcome, and then my table. So, lo que voy a hacer es go through it and section all my flowers uh, so I know cuántas voy a usar en cada lugar. So that's what I'm gonna do. I know I'm a little bit too extra, but me gusta. So yeah. All right, guys, so that's what I'm gonna need the flores. Now let me go and get my foam. Okay, and then for the base of where I'm gonna put my flowers, va a ser esto. So I got four of these um, foams in Dollar Tree, and I just pretty much wrapped it around with this tape. So the arrangement I'm going to do is for my table right now, which would look something like this. I want the draping of la tela that I have. This is my little Mr. and Mrs. Um, sign that I got. Pretty much what I did is I counted cotolas que voy a ocupar and then just did my design based on the flowers that I have, if that makes sense. So yeah, guys, let's get to it. Um, and yeah. And after I kind of place the flowers where I want, I'm going to go in with my glue gun and kind of set them in place. Okay, guys, so this is como se va a ver. And then I'm going to start my draping of my flowers kind of on the outside of this. So be right back. does that look i feel like it looks very natural okay and then i forgot i also have these extra ramos that i got i had to order more um, for the cake and i'm gonna use two of the bouquets for the cake and these ones i want to distribute them throughout my decorations because obviously cada mesa tiene esta so i feel like i should, it would look nice if i added some roses all right guys so see como va quedando i really love the the touch of the white rose um, and then the rest of these will be dripping down this way okay so for the draping of these ones what i'm planning on doing is attaching the other one right here so kind of like like that type of thing so they all would drape down and look like como que es nomás una guía when it really isn't but you guys know what i mean all right, guys, so when I'm attaching them, like when they're hanging, it's going to look like this. Do you guys see? Yes, you want to And they're going to really, really nice. So I finished adding all of these. Um, these are permanently like stuck together pretty much. Um, I added this, this one to the side. You guys can see right there, I glued that one. And then I glued this one on this side. You guys can see. Okay. And then I added the rest of the, the flowers coming in con estas. I added these around, which I think these added a really nice touch to it. This is this part. What do you guys think? I really, really love it. La verdad, it's beautiful. All right, guys. So my flores are arranged on, as how I want them. So I'm going to go in with my... um glue gun and just pretty much glue them all in place um, and I'm gonna do that for the other part as well I'm gonna move on with the other florero what I'm gonna do is for the welcome table and this one will be um, going this way it's gonna be the same thing just volteado and going like this so yeah. okay guys so here is the first one here's the next one all set all right, guys, so this is my hanger para mi um, dress. So what I'm going to do is le voy a quitar este y ponerle uno azul. Um, so let's do that as it's mistakes. So 
so here's my bow i really really love it love it it's still super cute all right so this is what i have so far for the one that's gonna go on my table i went ahead and added two toothpick to these ones so i'm gonna start kind of draping them from here um so i'll be right back all right guys so this is how it came out so i'm kind of draping it over my small table para que ven como se va a ver. um i like it all right guys so i went ahead and added some fabric to the back of the florero um to cover the foam because i'm thinking of not adding a mantel to my table my dad has this beautiful rustic uh wooden table that i'm thinking of just using i'll insert a picture hey guys so we are at the ranch we are gonna emparejar this part um, and this is where the wedding will be here so i could give you guys a little bit of an idea here i want the welcome sign here and then as people come in we want the toro mecanico like in this area I want the food and dessert table like over here. Um, and here, look is here with me. And um, my tables, I want them kind of like in an L shape, kind of like right here. Um, and then the banda will be playing right here. I was planning on having the banda here, having like the tables on the side and us in the front, like facing this way. But last time that there was a party here, they had all the cables and like their truck right here. So it's kind of like in the middle of the party. That is not going to work. Um, so our table is going to be right here. And then it's going to be our little largo, kind of like the one up in the front. My dad's going to make one like that but smaller and cuter <laughs> and so we're gonna be right there and then the, again the tables will be kind of will be kind of like this and then again the banda the toro mecanico the food right here and then we have the bathroom right over there we might do the ceremony here or we're also planning on doing it in that deck because that's the where the lake is so I feel like that would be pretty. Um, so yeah, todo viene mi viejo, my man. Y vamos a acomodar aquí esto. And then we're trying to make kind of like a dance floor, but like a small one for me and him, like to do or balls. So that's kind of where everything will go down. I'm planning on either walking down the aisle this way, like here, or either coming from that side here and. I'm gonna have my runner pretty much right here. Have her guest sit right here. And then the altar would be right here. That's where we're thinking, but we don't know yet. Um, we don't know yet. We'll probably decide that today. Um, but I think, yeah, my runner will go right here. And then we can have chairs, kind of like that. But we're still deciding that. And I feel like it would be nice to have kind of like two different settings you know the party and all that and then the ceremony in a whole different place but we'll see right rocky right we'll see what are you gonna wear for the wedding rocas what are you gonna wear ¿Te la viento? at some point honestly i wanted to have like the ceremony here because i like how that looks but yeah my dad's gonna build one I'll, I'll insert a picture of the one i wanted it's from pinterest obviously como siempre okay we have rookie's ball let me i'm gonna throw it in the water para que se aviente dame la papi thank you okay let's go throw it out the wall Vente, vamos para acá, vamos al agua. He knows, he knows. He's already, look, he's, he already knows. Rocky! 
There he goes, my baby. He used to be so scared. Cuando lo subíamos en una de estas, he would be so scared, but he loves it. Ya ven, it's barely like 8.30 and he's already in the water. He was already in the water. He's been in the water. I think my man's over there getting las pailas for the little stage. Yeah, guys, so this is where it's going to be. I feel like it would be so nice to have like this view right here when we get married. I feel like that would be so nice. Um, and then for the next day, we would have the after party, obviously. We would turn that on. Um, como ven, ya se está bajando la, the water level. So my man's filling it up. Um, we're going to set up tents of for people that want to stay over we'll have bomb food and while we clean up and all that so that's our plan eso es lo que tenemos pensado a ver que primero dios todo va a salir bien but yes guys so right now we yeah my man ya viene and we're gonna start by fixing that and poner las, la madera for the little platform so we're gonna make all right, guys, I'll show you guys the process as we go. All right, so we got the madera spread over there. And now he's just flattening it out. It's all flat now. Guys, today's the second day. Well, ya es noche. We have Isela and we have Abby. Sorry for the mess. We're Don't gonna do. Me. We're gonna do a little haul. Um, to start with. Okay, so I got this chain. This is gonna be for me to hang my uh, Mr. and Mrs. Um, sign. So that's that. I got this at Home Depot. I got more of the stain on Home Depot. I hope I don't know if it's gonna be the same color. Supposedly based on the name, it's the same thing, but se ve un poquito más claro. So hopefully va a servir. And then uh, Michaels, I got these two cajas. I got these bags for the chicharrones, uh, a Dollar Tree. I got this lace. I'm gonna do my um, liga. I got this at my mom's house some hilo to make it and some elastic from my mom's little kit i got some of the e6000 to help me with the centerpieces bling them i got some paintbrushes at dollar tree to help me with the stain these were also from michael's i got this from uh dollar tree these are going to be for my cake set or like para cortarlo this honestly was a find that nunca esperé. It's these candy jars. Excuse those shoes. These are the candy jars. I got these at Dollar Tree, believe it or not. Look. I got five of these. And then I finally got this cubby for my uh, vanity because the one I got was the dos. And honestly, it's too tall. And no me gusta. So, I got these. Um, so, yeah, guys. This is what I got uh, today. Um, so, yeah, guys. This is kind of what I'm doing. Again, um, these ones, I got them from Dollar Tree. Uh, this one, I tried already to glue one. Pero estaba muy corto. So, it didn't wrap all the, all, all the way down. But this is pretty much what I'm kind of doing. Okay. All right, so I got this, my glue gun, my glue, and my tijera. My tijera. So I'll be right back. Sure Abby, how does this look? Mm. It looks like a way under the smaller one. Does it look 
The spatula is I but the knife has to get another smaller one. What do you mean smaller one? It's too big, bitch. That shit looks like you made that shit in the wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> you like it, no hate. Oh my god. This really tells me surviving out here. Oh my god, dude. I hate you. Okay, guys, I don't know how I feel about this knife, honestly. Um, I'll see what I could do, but right now I'm gonna move on con la liga. A ver qué tal me sale. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I got the. Lo medí a my thigh, um, and I just lo cosí right here. And now I'm gonna put the lace on top, kind of like right here, and go from there. Um, as you guys, I don't know if you guys haven't noticed, but I love doing DIYs. I love I love doing things myself if I know in that I could do them, you know. But we'll be right back. All right, guys. So I just finished my liga. This is how it came out. I really like it. Um, so this. Really nice. these smaller strands at Dollar Tree um so this is pretty much how this is looking I feel like it's gonna obviously look better because it's bastante un poquito más chico so I'm gonna continue going I like it because it has well actually I was having second doubts because it has like wire inside so when I uh, move it you guys can see here's a veil wire and I didn't really like that but I'll make it work um this one this is how it, this one turned out yes okay what well, that is you my final result okay guys so this is the final result i love it way way more i feel like it gives the knife you know the shape that it has <laughs> and like the other way it was just pretty thick um yeah so what i'm thinking is maybe putting them together and making a cute bow and then yeah, que los vayamos usar, then we'll just you know put them apart but uh, this is the result I got these at Dollar Tree and this at Dollar Tree. I used, this one I used two. This one I just used one, one of these. I still have some of it left from the second one I used for this one. I tried getting some in Michaels and I remember they were like 25, almost $30. So yeah, yes, they were $5.